Well, hey there, Minecraft fans. Um, I've just decided to change my channel name to something potentially more interesting. I hope you like it. Um, there's a pun in there, I hope. And I hope to keep making interesting YouTube videos as, as long as the day job permits. Now, um, I wouldn't exactly say that I'm any kind of expert builder when it comes to Minecraft. I'm definitely more the sort of person who would do better with things like redstone circuits and contraptions. Um, but there are aspects of some kinds of builds that I thought I might be able to help out a little bit with. So today we're going to be working on arcs. Specifically, the two kinds of arcs I'm going to be building for you are smooth sloping bridges and archways. The idea behind the smooth sloping bridge is that it starts out with stairs. And it goes up at a 45 degree angle and then gently levels off to this middle section, which you can lengthen as much as you want to span as much of a distance as you need to. And then it gently slopes back down again and ends up with stairs, just as it did on the other side. Now we're going to build this bridge over this area of water here, representing maybe like a wide valley with a river below or something like that. And here are the distance that we're going to span from here to the far end is 20 blocks. And we're going to build the bridge three blocks wide. And I've left some extra space on either side for some little aesthetics we might tinker with. To get the shape that we want, we're going to switch over here to my web browser tab and use my handy dandy circle generator. I'll put a link to this down in the description. Now, since the bridge is going to go over a span of 20 blocks, I'm going to make an ellipse here that is 22 blocks wide. And then to get the aesthetics that I want, I'm going to make it nine blocks high. We're going to switch this to slab and stairs mode so that it goes up and down smoothly by half blocks. And we're going to add some thickness, both for aesthetics and also to make it easier to build. And finally, we can add some color to help us keep track of which blocks we need to use. So when we're building this, we're going to focus on this section of the ellipse. Here we've got it sloping up nicely at a 45 degree angle, and then it levels off. Here we have a middle span that we can stretch out as much as we want, and then here is the mirror of what we will build over here. So this time we're going to build using quartz, just for fun. Let's see how see if it looks any good. So we're going to start off by putting down some stairs, and on the backs of these, we're going to put some slabs. On top of those slabs will be the next set of stairs, and on back on the back of these stairs, we will put some upside down stairs. Now these upside down stairs, we need to put some slabs on top and on the sides facing towards the middle of the bridge. And then we can put some stairs here. Now on the back of these stairs, we're going to put full blocks. And then we're going to stretch out three sets of slabs. first two sets get slabs and the last one will get stairs. Now this brings us up to the full height of the bridge. So we're going to build out as many full blocks as we need to to stretch out the distance of the span of the bridge. And next we're going to build the other side and make them meet in the middle.
And there we have the basic shape of the bridge. Now, I've seen a lot of designs where it's common to do things like add some full blocks in these spots like this. And this is done so that we can add things like fence or cobble wall. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm not sure how it's going to look. But this is just to give you inspiration. And there you have it, completed bridge. I probably could have picked a better color scheme, but let's give it a run. Let's see how it, uh, how it feels to go over this bridge. Here we go. Hey, let's do that again. That was fun. And I forgot one important thing. We don't want these bridges to look like they're just floating in midair and violating the laws of physics, so why don't we add some pillars? And there we have it. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Check it out. I'm standing under the other bridge. I'm like a troll. Next up, we're going to be building an arch using the circle generator again. For this one, we're actually going to be working from a circle. And I'm going to go with uh, 10 high and 40 uh, and 10 tall. We use slabs and stairs again. Add some thickness for aesthetics. And I'm doing this so that I can get an archway that's eight blocks wide. Here now we'll be focusing on this portion of the circle and we built we will be building that and then we'll build its mirror. Now for this arch, I don't want it to just look like a half circle. I want it to go up a bit. So I'm gonna build five blocks high before I start building any of the circle. Now that we have that, I'm going to start with a slab here and another one towards the middle of the arch, a full block. On top of that, we'll put a stair and then an upside down stair on the back of that. On top of this will be a slab and also towards the inside. Finally, we will put a stair. This brings us up to the full height of the arch. So I'm going to place one of our full blocks there. And then I will go build the mirror image of the arch, of that half of the arch over here. And there we have it, a completed arch, but of course this is supposed to be like the grand entrance to your castle or whatever it is that you have in mind. So uh, I'm going to switch to bricks and I'm going to build a wall behind this.
So now because of the circle mode I selected, it actually is uh, possible to make the, uh, to fill in these gaps and make this brick portion have an arch that matches the inside of the white one. So let's do that. And there you have it. Beautiful castle entrance way for your beautiful castle. Now, of course, using the circle generator, you can, of course, do bridges of any span, arches of any size. You just have to tinker with the settings to get the shape that you want. Um, I certainly don't mind getting some suggestions on features to add to the circle generator. And uh, for that matter, YouTube videos that I could make using that circle generator or generators of other kinds. I've got a few ideas in mind. And of course, it can be used for generating circles. So I hope everybody enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And if you really liked it, maybe leave a like down below. And I hope everybody has a great day.